Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about why I chose the uh, 2022 Lowrider S as my second bike. So, just going to do a quick little walk around of it. Hopefully, you can see everything. It's a little dirty, I've been riding it around. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and hop on it. Alright, so I do have the thrash and supply utility bag. It's not the bar bag, it's just a utility bag, but it's all I need to fit my registration wallet, keys, AirPod case, and then I got the Harley Davidson owner bag right there. And then let's turn it on. Get some music going. It's stock pipes right now. Uh, haven't. I uh, plan on doing like a uh, a slip on. I've got 464 miles right now on it. Close to the 500 mark I need for uh, for the engine braking period. All right, let's go. It's a nice day out today figured I'd record this video today because it's supposed to storm the next two days um, so reasons why I chose the 2022 Lowrider S as my upgrade uh, as my upgrade bike so I started off on the Kawasaki Z400 as I said in my first video um, I decided to upgrade because I definitely wanted something of more power. I do like naked bikes and sport bikes and all that, but I have a like my lower my back is messed up, so I can't really. I, I wouldn't be able to do longer rides on those, and I do like just going around riding for a while. So that would have just been uncomfortable. And honestly, if I would have got like a sport bike or something, I feel like you're more prone to do like cool again and stupid stuff on it uh lane splitting weaving in and out of traffic that type of stuff one on the cruiser i mean this thing's a beast and it's like a ripper but uh i'm definitely a lot more careful on it and i'm more conscious about what i'm doing on the bike and stuff like that Uh, so yeah, definitely comfortability was, was, comfort was one of the main things I wanted. Uh, so obviously this being like a cruiser, it's, it's going to be way more comfortable. Like the seat for one is, uh, many people complain about the stock Harley seat, but I honestly don't find it that bad. Coming off the Z400, that seat was like a piece of cardboard compared to this thing. Uh, the peg placement, they're, they're mid controls. Uh, they're actually pretty comfortable. I'm not complaining. I know some people like throwing on like Fords and stuff, but I mean, I haven't done like a super long trip on it or anything, but for like right now, it's really, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. One thing I will end up doing is putting on some risers, probably eight, eight to eight and a half inches with a pullback. Because I, I'm 6'1", so I am hunched over on the bike a little bit. And I mean, it's not that bad, but if I want to do longer trips, I definitely need to up that so I can be a lot more comfortable. The power, I mean, it's a it's the 117 in the 2022. I think it's like 1,900 uh, cc's, but, and then the 117 cubic inches, but, um, 103 horsepower and about 125 foot-pounds of torque which is like a lot a big change coming off the z400 and um i know i don't know if a lot of people would recommend like i'm going from a 400 to this but i mean i don't have the money to keep upgrading bikes like slowly and stuff so i knew for the second bike i was just gonna get the bike i, I always want and uh speaking of that 
I did have a couple other bikes I was thinking of when I first started riding like obviously you're thinking about the upgrade and stuff and then a lot of the bikes I would think I want them for like a while and then after like a week I'd end up changing my mind about them but with the Lowrider S I knew that I was like I never ended up changing my mind at all about on this bike and uh, yeah I love this bike it's amazing I love the style, the look, the the club style is sick. I'm, I love that type of look on the bike. I think it's badass. And yeah, this bike, like, most other bikes, I ch ended up changing my mind, but I didn't change my mind on this bike. I love this bike. I know I'm never going to get bored of this bike. It's my dream bike, and I, it's just crazy I have it now. Like, I didn't think I would ever be on a low rider S, but here we are. And I'm loving it. One of the main things I was a little worried about coming off of the Z400 was the weight of the the cruiser, the Lowrider S. But honestly, I'm a lot used. I'm used to the weight, and it's really not that bad. I mean, I'm six one. I weigh 176 pounds. I do work out and stuff, but I'm not like the biggest guy. I'm like, well, I'm like an average, I guess, but yeah, I was worried about keeping the bike up on one leg, but obviously it's just fine and easy. It's nothing crazy. So like, yeah, it's still pretty maneuverable. Like it's not like super, it's not like a boat or anything when you're trying to maneuver around. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. It's not the Z400, but like I, it does what I need it to do just fine. So. I'm excited to be able to take it over 3,000 RPM once I hit 500 miles and I can really open her up. So this bike is, uh, it's got a lot of power. Obviously I'm being careful and stuff. I'm definitely not, oh that's a cool car. Uh, I'm not trying to mess my bike up or anything. Like this is an expensive bike. So, and it's my dream bike. The last thing I want to do is do something stupid and end up fucking it up. Like screw that. So yeah. And I just like cruising, like, I don't want to, I don't have to, like, go freaking over 100 miles an hour and weaving in and out of cars, have fun, like, this is, this is what I enjoy doing right here, just riding. Uh, I can't tell if I'm getting more wind on, I think I got a lot more wind on my Z400, I mean, that fairing, people say it doesn't do much, but it's blocking a little something, at least. And then I do plan on getting the El Diablo fairing from the LA Fairing Co., I think that looks sick, and uh, it's a little different than all the other fairings that most people put on low riders. Like usually, you see the Memphis Shades, um, Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing and stuff. And I'm not trying to be like every other person out here, but I'm trying to keep it a little different, however I can. I'm gonna do thrash and supply foot pegs, probably. Uh, Eventually, I'll switch out the the levers, the clutch and brake lever. But right now, I mean, they they work just fine. The grips, I'm probably going to end up doing some heated grips. I'll probably just go on the Harley Davidson website, see what they have to offer. Uh, because I do plan on riding in the cold weather. I was doing it last year, uh, and then. That was on the Z400, the naked bike, so there was like really no wind protection. I had to bundle up like I'm like so bad, so much on that thing. And even with like a little heated jacket, like it was brutal, but I still did it. I was like, screw it, I want to ride. Like, not being able to ride during the winter is torture. So, hopefully, a couple mods and then it'll be a little more comfortable to ride during the winter. probably gonna do the hand guards I'll take those off during the summer but during the winter it'll definitely help break the wind off so but overall I mean this is my dream bike I have a some mods plan to make it give it my own personal touch and stuff like that and yeah
this bike I can do anything on it I, if I wanted to take it on long trips I could um, if I just want to cruise around locally I can uh, if I just want to ride normally I can and if I want to rip around and you know be a little hooligan or something which I probably won't do I can do that because this bike can, is fast so it's not a slouch it's got 125 foot pounds of torque and it's only like 680 pounds I mean that's a lot but but with this 117 it's nice Alright, come to a stoplight. Alright. I need to practice my slow speed maneuvers on this bike because I on one of the Z 400 I did that a lot because I ought to take the test on it, but I need to do it on this one. I mean I can do a UE on this and do slow speed maneuvers and stuff, but you know, it's always good to just practice. That's one thing I always tell myself whenever I go out on a ride. Every time I go on a ride, I'm learning something. Always learning. But, uh, I mean, I think that's pretty much everything. So I'm just gonna uh, just ride and let you guys enjoy the scenery. Um, thanks for watching and everything. Uh, and then uh, I won't be too long before I come out with another YouTube video. So, uh, but thanks for watching, everybody.